the Reserve Bank of India has released guidelines to set up a new umbrella entity for retail digital payments. In simple words, the regulator wants to set up a clutch of NPCI equivalents. The mandate is to expand the digital payments ecosystem in the country and work on bringing in more innovation into payments. The draft framework was released in February this year and public comments were invited. After taking industry feedback, the regulator published the final guidelines on August 20th. The Reserve Bank of India has said that the body will have to set up a payments and settlement system which will be operated for both banks and non-banks. The system will need to be interoperable with NPCI so that consumers are not affected. RBI has given detailed criteria for these applicants, which includes, first, the promoter needs to be an Indian or reside in India with at least three years of experience in digital payments. To become a promoter, the applicant needs to hold above 25% in the company. Second, the company will need a minimum paid-up capital of Rs 500 crore. Out of this, Rs 50 crore will have to be brought at the time of application. A constant paid-up capital of Rs 300 crore will have to be maintained at all times. Third, RBI has its own fit and proper criteria for promoter groups which will need to be abided by. While a large number of Indian corporates and fintechs could be interested in this space, players like Visa and Mastercard, who are US-based companies, cannot set up anything by themselves. They might have to partner with Indian players to apply. The target here is to expand the digital payments universe. Currently, there are only 125 million bank customers who have adopted digital banking initiatives. This number needs to go up. NPCI has pushed the share over the last few years. Now RBI wants private players to play an ecosystem role as well. Can the country get 500 million consumers active on digital payments in the next decade? That is the question. There is a lot of buzz around NUE being a competitor to NPCI. While the players will compete, the idea is to expand the market itself. The body will have to come out with innovative payment solution so that cash transactions can further be reduced. If India succeeds in creating a couple of large retail payment players, India can have multiple local Visa and MasterCards. Because these players were started by a consortium of banks, eventually becoming large global companies. The potential is huge for such players. In terms of revenue, even if retail payments can be a narrow margin business, NPCI still makes money for every transaction settled. This is just the starting point. It will at least take a year or so to evaluate the applicants and finally release the names of the license holders.